Hey guys, welcome back to Ralph's house. I just finished a big paint and I had some paint left and I don't, y'all know me, I don't waste paint. I had no canvas that I give my kids, I give them to play with and they draw some stuff on. So I painted over that to kind of seal it and uh, I'm not going to waste this paint. I was driving home the other day and you drive to the park and you see the way the lights come to the trees and hit and you're going to see things that you think, man, if I painted that, nobody would believe it. But start with, I don't know if I'm good enough to paint that. But now last painting, you're going to do something in a painting that you see that, man, that worked. I don't know if I can make it work again, but we're going to try to make this thing work. We're going to do a little landscape, play with this canvas, and see what we can put in here. Uh, I'll tell you what, what I need to do right here real quick, let me get the canvas tightened up a little bit. I knocked it out of, out of sync there. There we go. Let's not waste this paint. I'll grab a bunch of this white I got on here. So I got this white down in here, and you know, I'm going to grab a little bit of that burnt sienna, put into that. And just get me a good kind of a peach color. And this is going to be like a, if you're driving home from work in the evening, you're tired, and the sun's kind of setting over here across the mountains. But you know what? It's sure casting a pretty glow in them clouds up there. Like that kind of that peach color glow that's up there and them that's coming across there. Grab a little bit of that yellow right there and put some of that in there with it. You're going to see where I'm going to go with this in just a minute. I like a good bright. There's a little bit more of that sienna. Mix in with that white. So that sun's going down across the mountain over there. And you know, there's no sand in the old, what is it, red sky at night, sailor's delight. Uh, so, I mean, you can actually have some really peach colored skies. Red sky at morning, sailor take warning, I think. Well, that's right. So, I mean, that's, there's a reason behind all that. So, don't be afraid to get your sky colors really painted in there. And a lot of times, what you're going to see, the skies will reflect in. We're going to have a road coming up through here. Like you're coming down this road, coming down to the park. So, we're going to get some of that into there. Let's put that road coming in through here. I, I'm just painting right now. Anybody's ever seen me paint knows I'm going to have layer upon layer of paint in this picture. But that road's going to kind of meander down through there. So we're going to get that into there. Again, some more of that, just that yellow ochre there. Cast some of that into that. So the road's laid down here. And before we get some of that into there. i got all this cerulean blue up here. Or not cerulean blue. Ultramarine blue. I'm not going to waste it. You don't think I'm crazy right now, but there's going to be some trees standing over here in the foreground. It's a good dark color. Let's get it on the canvas. Good tree color. Right, grab some of that, mix it in there. As these trees go farther away, we're going to make them get smaller and smaller. Probably going to stop right there and go be a clearing. The other side of the clearing is going to be the trees are away on down here. That road just winding on off and down to the sunset. Get some more trees in here. This side of the road will have trees on this side of the road. This is one of those kind of parks that has them old trees that hang out over the road. So you're going to have some darks there. I don't know if y'all can follow what I'm doing here. Yeah. What are you doing? You got this in your I head. See, I see it in my head. Tell us what you're saying. Because what's going to happen is that sunlight's going to cast across that field right through here. And then across that road. You hit over here. So right now I'm just trying to get some paint on here. So I'm not going to waste this paint. So I'm going to use it. And I'm just mixing these colors, some of these colors together. Give me some, some leaf colors. And have more of that closer to our foreground. And got all that good blue in here. Let's kind of just blend all this together. These are just good natural colors you see out in the woods. Uh, and then we can paint trees and leaves and everything else over all this mess. And we'll develop what kind of trees we want them to be, where our lights are going to be, where our darks are going to be, and how we can make all this work. I'm going to grab some of this. Now I've got some uh, raw sienna left. I'm going to mix that in here. Let's here in the foreground. We're probably going to have some trunks of trees coming up here. This tree's going to be more in the foreground. These trees are in close. 
You can't ever make a tree just have two limbs. You've got to have limbs winding and winding everywhere. But in and out behind each other. So you create on out here into the sky a little bit. So don't just cut you in some trees down here. And the tree back here behind it is hitting off somewhere. Give me some little bit darker color in there. There we go. And just get the lower part which down here. Remember down here down low it's going to be darker. We had not really got to our road yet, but we're going to have the, you know, you have your tracks of your road going down through there. We get small and white roads going to kind of go right down through there. This is a wild painting, but I tell you what, I think we're going to have a lot of fun straightening it out. So we, we didn't waste a lot of paint. We've got this paint put on here, covered this canvas, and we're Hopefully we're creating us a road we want to go down and where we're going to end up. So that's going to be that field coming across there. This is Chickamauga Battlefield. This is where they had a just tremendous battle during the Civil War. 34,000 men casualties occurred at just one place. I mean, it's just, it's just unimaginable the number of men that fought here in two-day battle. They had over a, close to 200,000 men, 34,000 casualties took place right here where we're at. And it's just, uh, Chad Nuggets all know about this place and then when I would get to, hopefully if I can do what I want to do here, they're going to know exactly where this painting happened because they drove down this same exact road and they've seen this picture. They've seen these, these places where we've been. It's full of these old trees that have been around for a long time. I mean, this is very hallowed ground. You don't mess with things in this park. Uh, we're fortunate to have it. It's been properly maintained and cared for. That we remember what all the prices that were paid for our country. But this is just a unique place. Again, to let your strokes show. Don't be afraid to let your strokes show. But we're still not in the detail stage. We're just trying to lay this out a little bit to where we're going to have these trees on each side of the road. We'll have this road coming down through here. Now, I'm hard on brushes, but I love the looks and the strokes that it makes on the canvas. And don't be afraid to do that. I mean, brushes aren't expensive for acrylics. We're using inexpensive brushes. Don't be afraid to paint be afraid to, to do this. I think we've cut in a little bit of something to get an idea of where we're going. I'll tell you what, I'm going to clean this mess up and y'all come back with we'll a clean palette and see what we can make this turn into. Y'all come.